Detergent types and concentrations. The correct choice of detergents contributes strongly to the effectiveness of CIP. The standard in small to medium breweries is caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, which is cheap and readily available. CIP detergents also contain additional active components, referred to as sequestrants and surfactants, which are designed to keep soiling in suspension once removed from the surface to reduce foaming and to give other beneficial properties. Other chemicals are sometimes added by the supplier to create specific cocktails providing benefits to plant problems. Once the correct chemical is selected, the correct concentration must be used. Use of strongly chlorinated products and strong concentrations of sodium hypochlorite should be avoided if possible, as they are corrosive to stainless steel. Heat exchangers are particularly vulnerable. Terminal sanitizers. These are used at the end of the final rinse to kill any residual or introduced microorganisms in the plant following the final rinse. They are recirculated at CIP velocities and through tank cleaning heads and have a defined minimum contact time. The most commonly used terminal sanitizer is paracetic acid, also known as peroxyacetic acid, PAA. PAA is favoured among other sanitizers because it breaks down in food to safe and environmentally friendly residues like water, acetic acid, low-strength hydrogen peroxide and oxygen. PAA is left to drain down following CIP without any final rinsing. As with all chemicals, there are hazards. PAA is a very strong oxidizer and is very harmful in contact with the skin or eyes, especially in neat form. It should never be handled manually without adequate PPE. PAA is not compatible with natural rubbers, so valve and pipe seals have to be carefully selected, and some dosing systems, which use rubber components, are not suitable. The mentioned cleaning can be achieved by programming CIP to follow these steps. Pre-rinse, detergent wash, rinse, and sanitizing.